So, I played the worst wrestling game ever made, and uh, now I don't want to live anymore. On this channel, we have talked about many wrestling games, from the good ones, to the bad ones, to the whatever ones, we have literally touched on everything here but little boys. And of course, we can keep creaming over and over on how legendary Here Comes the Pain was, or how awesome 2K14 was, but I felt like it was finally time to step out of my comfort zone here on the channel. And in other words, I felt like it was time to finally torture myself. So for your entertainment and for my pain, I went back to the year 2000, and in a year that was filled with classic wrestling games such such as No Mercy and SmackDown 1 and 2, it was time to load up the good old PlayStation 1, a console that honestly many of you watching probably have never played. And I decided to play arguably the worst wrestling game ever made. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you WCW Backstage Assault. So this is considered to be the worst of the worst when it comes to wrestling games, a game so bad that even IGN gave it a 2 out of 10 when it came out, so I thought why not play this in 2023 and see how bad was it really, how bad could the worst wrestling game ever made truly be? A few moments later. So I started it up and had waited for it to load. I went through the menu that looked like it was made by a kindergartner in 1999 and before even starting a single match, I, I knew this was going to be bad. I mean yo, just look at this roster, how could a game possibly be good if it features the likes of Major Guns, Doug Dillinger, AWOL, Sarge, Corporal Cajun? What the f was WCW in 2000. But after finally finding my boys in the most complicated menu ever made, Goldberg and Scott Steiner, I was ready for the backstage assault in the truck arena, and honestly, I was ready to get my backstage assaulted. And the match was loading, and for some reason, I actually had some hope and excitement to play a match. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, it's still a wrestling game, it's still Goldberg, I'm sure the spear is gonna be fun to hit, I, I, I had some hope, you know? And then the match loaded, and next thing you know, um, instead of Goldberg versus Scott Steiner, it was Johnny Sins versus Scott Steiner, the cancer patient. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, WCW Backstage Assault is the ugliest, the worst looking, the most STD infested wrestling game I have ever seen in my life. Before we even get to the gameplay, just look at this. I, I didn't know it was possible to create a video game with crayons, but apparently it was, cause this is the worst looking wrestling game I've ever seen in my life. Goldberg is Johnny Sins, Scott Steiner looks like he has cancer, Hulk Hogan looks like a homeless man pretending to be Hulk Hogan, brother, Ric Flair looks like he's missing a chrome zone. Booker T just looks like a skinny Stanley from The Office. That, that is not Booker T. And his brother, Stevie Ray, he, he's not even black. He looks like a burn victim. And then poor Medusa looks like she does crack for a living. And yo, some of the models just flat out look like someone took a shit on them. Yo, this was a real game that looked like this that was released in the year 2000 on the PS1. In a time where video games looked like this, in a time where the PS1 could output some pretty impressive games, the 5 or 6 WC W fans that were left in 2000, they got this. Like, yo, what did Canyon ever do to deserve this? Nah, man, like, I knew this was gonna be bad. I knew it was the worst wrestling game ever, but it's one thing to hear about it or read about it, and it's one thing to plug in your controller and actually turn this on and have to play this. The graphics, the gameplay says it all. I have never played a game that looked this disgusting and played this bad. Like, just, just look at this. The wrestlers move like they got something stuck up their ass. The animations look horrible. The wrestlers only have, like, four moves anyway, and it doesn't help that the CPU in this game plays like a crackhead. The CPU in this game never gives up, they never stay down, uh, apparently it's John Cena in 2010 up in here. You can literally do anything you want to the CPU, it does not matter, they will kick out every single time and they will get up and they will beat your ass with a stupid ass low blow or a throat attack, they just be out here inventing moves. But now, as you can see, this game is an abomination. There are a few weapons that work sometimes, but you know, you would think in a game centered around weapons that it would actually be fun to use them. No. Yo, you would think in a game where they encourage you to jump off a truck, it would actually be fun and satisfying. No. What is this? What is going on here? This game is truly disgusting and it's appalling that this was released. It's sad that some kid out there probably begged their mom back in 2000 to buy them this game. It's sad that some kid probably went to a Target or a GameStop and they told their mom, yeah, I want that one. How do you grow up a normal child after knowing you made your mom spend her hard earned money on this shit? Now, I get it, okay, you're probably thinking, okay, fine, the backstage areas in the game are whatever and it doesn't look the best, you know, graphics don't mean 
mean everything, but that doesn't mean it can't be a good wrestling game, right? Like how is the actual wrestling in the final world championship wrestling game? Uh, I forgot to tell you that, uh, they made a wrestling game without a ring. Just when you thought you've seen it all, you've heard it all, these idiots at EA actually made a wrestling game with not one single wrestling ring in sight. Cause yo, know, why would we need a wrestling ring in a wrestling game? You know, it's fine. Go be Ric Flair and wrestle Medusa the crackhead in the women's washroom. Who needs a ring? Ric Flair has enough wedding rings as it is. This is the strangest, the weirdest, just stupidest game I've seen in my life. It's a wrestling game without a wrestling ring filled with wrestlers such as Corporal Cajun and Vince Russo as a playable character with wrestlers that look like this and you're fighting backstage with some of the worst physics I've ever seen. There's no story mode, there's no storyline, you just start at the truck arena and make your way across the maps, the women's washroom and these other places and that's the game. I'm serious when I say it's hard to believe that this is an actual game. I am playing the game and I still can't believe it's a real thing and not some fan made mod. I get it's from 2000 but my brother in Christ, that is not an excuse. These idiots really spent hours making sure Vince Russo, Eric Bischoff and Big Vito were in the game instead of making the gameplay just a tiny bit better. Nah, why would we do that? Instead, let's put a little cheat code in the game that unlocks a special mode. And uh, what's that special mode you may ask? Oh man, so instead of making a story mode or anything productive or anything fun, these idiots went out of their way to do this. On the main menu, if you start the game and you put this cheat code in, R1, R1, triangle, triangle, L1, L1, and you start a match with any woman in the game, she's going to be fat. She's fat! What? Where? How? How? How does this even cross anyone's mind? Who the hell wakes up one day is like, yeah, you know that video game we're working on? What if we put a cheat code in that just makes all the women fat? What kind of sick freak thinks like that and what kind of sick freak actually puts that in a game? Fuck a story mode, we got large women mode up in here. I, I can't, I can't. Ladies and gentlemen, this is WCW Backstage Assault. Without a doubt, the worst wrestling game of all time. It is not a competition, it's not a race, there is no way there's any wrestling game that is worse than this. A wrestling game with no modes, no story, no ring, no referee, a game honestly with nothing, and a game that came out and was sold for the full price of $70. And yo, what a shame bro, WCW games once upon a time were the best wrestling games on the market. Before there was a No Mercy and a Smackdown, it was the WCW games that were carrying the genre, it was World Tour and it was Revenge. But just two years after one of the greatest wrestling games of all time, we get this. And this ends up being the final, the last WCW game of all time. What a way to go out. At this point, if the AEW game is just better than this, I'll be happy. So I played the worst wrestling game of all time and now I hate myself. What a lifestyle. Let me know if you guys have any memories of this game, hopefully not, and in the comments down below, let me know, are there any wrestling games that are just as bad as this, just absolute trash wrestling games that you want me to cover? It's fine, you know, my pain is your entertainment. So if there's any other games that remind you of this or are just as bad, let me know down below and your boy just might check it out. It's your boy Pav aka Wrestling Gifts, I'm out of here, but I'll see you guys soon. Later.